So we got one week to election day and uh, it's going to get spicy folks. Um, last Friday, if you haven't seen it, which as of this time, um, 37 point, nearly 0.8 million people have seen it already. And that's the Joe Rogan podcast with Donald Trump dropped last Friday night. I watched uh, half of it Friday night, watched the second half of it Saturday. I thought it was good myself. I, I, I thought it was a great discussion. Even Joe pointed out that, hey, I ask a question. Trump starts to give an answer. He kind of wanders. I have to get him back to the question. But all in all, I'd say it was a good, it was a good interview. It was a good conversation. And that's what Joe does is he has a conversation with people. Um, as far as Kamala Harris goes, well, this is from the independent James Liddell, Kamala Harris was offered to go on the Joe Rogan experience. And, um, as of right now, they can't get a deal done. In fact, they had, um, a couple of things they wanted Joe to do. The first one is they wanted Joe to come to Kamala. Guys, that's not how Joe does his show. Joe generally doesn't travel to the individual he's having a conversation with. They come to him. I mean, if I had that kind of power and stroke, I'd want people to come to me too. Second thing, if you notice, most of Joe's shows are two, two and a half, three hours in nature. The Harris campaign only wanted to speak or talk to him or have a conversation with him for an hour. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Kamala Harris, an hour with Joe Rogan, based on her last um, town hall, she wouldn't last five minutes. You think Trump weaves and wanders to give an answer? All Kamala would do is filibuster because she's got nothing to say except for I was raised in a middle-class family. That's it. So instead of doing Rogan, what did Kamala Harris decide to do? Well, she decided to go on Club Shay Shay. Shannon Sharp's podcast. Now, granted, um, Joe's got a much larger audience than Shannon Sharp. I mean, Shannon Sharp's got 3.6 million subs on YouTube. Joe's got 18 million. So we'll call it a times four. And I pulled this number from Newsweek. In the first 24 hours that the Trump episode dropped of the Joe Rogan experience, it was viewed over 26 million times on YouTube in the first 24 hours. We are now, let me refresh this. Do the calls for us on Call of Duty. We are now 24 hours in, and Kamala Harris's appearance on Club Shay Shay doesn't even have a million views yet. Yeah. Now, now, granted, like I said, Club Shay Shay is not quite as big as Joe Rogan. So we can take those numbers and kind of extrapolate a little bit. So Joe Rogan's got 18 million subs. Club Shay Shay's got 3.6 million. We'll call it 4 million. So let's divide that by four. 18 million divided by four. Get out the calculator here. So that's four and a half times larger. Now, in the first 24 hours since the Trump interview was released on the Joe Rogan Experience YouTube channel, it did over 20, it had 26 million views. So let's take 26 million divided by 4.5. 
That's still 5.8 million views versus not even a million. If you want to make an apples to apples comparison. Now you guys can check my math. You can comment down below. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. But this leads me into a, the second part of this video. And the second part is Google burying, burying the Joe Rogan Trump interview on YouTube search. Now this happened yesterday. This is Breitbart, Alana Monstragello. Hope I pronounced that right. Joe Rogan's three hour interview with former president Donald Trump on Friday's episode of the Joe Rogan experience was buried in the search results on Google's YouTube on Monday. After having surpassed 34 million views with less than 72 hours of being posted. Monday night, Breitbart News searched Rogan Trump in the YouTube search bar, which returned results for videos about the podcast episode and other similar political videos, but not the actual interview itself. Similar searches, including the full names of both Rogan and former president, had similar results. YouTube announced on in a Monday evening X post that the video streaming platform was aware that Rogan's original interview with Trump didn't appear prominently, adding that the company is working to resolve the issue. Now, YouTube caught a bunch of flag and Google caught a bunch of flack, um, which doesn't surprise me because some people would say that this is a way that Google influences the election. You have a prominent podcaster interviewing a prominent individual who's running for the office of, office of president, and yet Google decides after a couple of days that you can't find the full interview anymore. And don't tell me it was a bot. Wasn't a bot. Somebody, a higher up at YouTube or parent company Google Alphabet, had to have made a conscious decision, in my opinion, to quote-unquote, hide the show. So the statement they put out was, for some searches on Monday, the original three-hour interview didn't appear prominently. The video platform continued. Some short excerpts uploaded by the Joe Rogan channel appeared, but we know it was frustrating for users looking to find the full video. Had no problem finding the full video on Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. This happened on Monday. Just saying. We work to resolve this and viewers will begin seeing the full podcast and more YouTube search results soon. So here's what some people had to say about that. Dear YouTube, stop hiding this. Shame on YouTube for hiding this from the search results. Stop hiding this interview. YouTube is trying to hide this podcast. 33.7 million views and you can't search this. The machine is getting worried. The fact that YouTube has a video with 33 million views in two days and doesn't show it on the first page when I search for it. YouTube coping badly. I typed in YouTube search Joe Rogan Trump and the video never popped up. This individual accused YouTube of throttling. Damn, YouTube didn't want me to find this. And this goes on and on and on and on and on. YouTube still hiding this from the search results. I had to go to Joe Rogan's page and click videos just to find it. Another YouTuber wrote just before 9 p.m. Eastern time Monday night, last night. As of 9.20 last night, searching Rogan Trump still does not return results for Rogan's original interview with Trump within the first 50 videos that appear on the platform. But searching Joe Rogan Trump does, according to a search test by Breitbart News. So. That begs the question. Again, my opinion, did a human do this? Because I can't see the algorithm doing this. Not with that many views and that number of days. So what do you guys think of all this? Kamala Harris, the demands to have Joe Rogan come to her and only interview her for an hour. Um, going to Club Shay Shay instead, was that a mistake? Was it a mistake to make the demands of Rogan and probably not going to show up to Rogan before the election? 
comment down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. While you're at it, please, if you would, to support the channel, hit that thumbs up button. Give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.